Is it worth to use Microsoft Defender that comes free with every version of Windows? Is it good enough to protect you against most common threats like phishing, Trojan horses, ransomware, worms, and any other attacks against your machine? How can it compete against well-known antiviruses that offers a paid subscription? In today's video, I will give you an answer to these questions and give you a deep analysis of the product. Starting off, I really hope there is no need to convince you that you need an antivirus software installed on your machine, as today's statistics are really scary with cyber attacks skyrocketing, especially since and post-Covid era when a lot of us moved to working from home. Defender nowadays have quite a large number of features that stand side by side with top tier antiviruses programs around the world. That being said, it's lacking some of the features that you can buy with premium licensing when using different providers like a password manager or a VPN. Now let's break that down. Do you really need to pay for all of those features? Starting from the VPN, if you are following good security practices, meaning that you are on the private network, have a long and complex password in your Wi-Fi and using HTTPS websites, there is no need for you to worry too much about using VPN as you are already somewhat protected against most of the threats. On the other hand, if you are traveling a lot, using a public Wi-Fi on the airport or in a restaurant, it is definitely worth to invest some bucks into this or use alternatives, for example Tor Browser. There is also no need to pay for password managers, as you have plenty of free options like KeePass or Dashlane. Just remember to never be that person who saves TXT files with passwords on the desktop. And if you are, this video may not be for you. With encryption, it is as easy as using Windows built-in future BitLocker and BitLocker to go that can encrypt your USB drives. Just keep in mind that you need at least Windows version Pro to access this future. To encrypt, all you have to do is to right-click on the device and select Turn BitLocker on. In order to avoid identity theft, you don't need any special software, but a common sense like encrypting your files, making sure that your passwords are complex, and avoid oversharing your social life. With mic and webcam protection, you can just disable them when not in use, or follow example from our friend Mark. Now let's jump to protection. Based on the recent reviews from AV Test and AV Comparatives, Defender have a really good score when using it online with detection rate at around 99% and protection rate close to 100%. Saying that, offline detection rate is only at 60%, which is quite low when compared to other antiviruses out there. Reason being that Defender store most of the malware signatures on their servers and you cannot access them without internet connection. As for the performance, AV test scored at the maximum 6 out of 6 and AV comparatives at 97.4 out of 100, which overall is not too bad, but it seems that you can find a better positions there. In conclusion, as for the pros, it's a free software, have really good detection rates, Defender is already built in Windows, so no need to install it, and for the cons, lacking some of the features, probably not the best for non-security oriented users, the offline score could be improved. As for my personal opinion, I think Microsoft Defender is definitely worth using, and at the moment being, I will be using this on my own machine. That's it for today's video, I hope you enjoy. If you do, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and leave a comment whether you agree with my opinion or not. Hope you all will have a wonderful day, and I see you all next time.